Okay, so we're going to make butter today. Bread today? Yeah, we're going to make butter. How? Okay, so first we use, I got um, a pint of heavy cream. And this is so easy, I'm just going to do this in one take. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. You think that'll happen? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the heavy cream. And um, I'm going to just start with a little bit because, whoa, it sure is heavy. I'll start with that much. Okay, it's going to get loud, so turn down your volume. Here we go. Oops. I'm going to add a little bit more. The rest of the pint. Okay, that's all of it. And so I'm just going to let this go until it starts solidifying and there's going to be like a magical moment when the butter will separate, separate from the liquid. There we go. Now, if you had a, a better um, Cuisinart food processor. Um, this might work a little faster and a little better. I have uh, a little one, so it's and it's you know ten years old or something like that. I expect that the newer ones are a bit better. All right, it'll be any minute now, any second now. I can see that. Um, getting a little chunky. It's, it happens real quick. So, let's see, what'd that take, like three minutes maybe? I don't know. This is what it looks like. And that's better, and that's way. So I'm going to do this just for a second longer. just to get all the chunk together. And here's my... Okay. Um, that's a 
good way to do this. Hold on one second. Okay, so what you have in the end is um, buttermilk butter mm -hmm. and butter. That's better. And before we use it as butter, I want to um, add, well, I have to clean it and add salt. So let's see, we got almost a cup of buttermilk. So now I'm going to, to clean the butter. All you have to do is add a little bit of water to it. I just, maybe a quarter cup or so, half a cup. And this is just to clean um, the butter, and you just have to let it run through a little bit. And cleaning the butter makes it so that it lasts long, longer in your fridge um, if you wanted to save it, or you know, if you're not going to use it all in one week or whatever. This will keep it from um, going bad. Because this is uh, not your commercial butter, that's for sure. Okay, and then I um, squish it all, get all so I can get all the water out. Oops, it's leaking out the bottom. That's buttermilk. Okay. We'll put that in biscuits or something. Can I do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so I happen to like my butter salted. And um, in order to make it salted, you have to add salt. And then you add salt at the end um, at this stage. So, um, let's see. I'm going to add, I use all natural sea salt, okay. and um, yeah, we can use that, let me see. Watch me spill it. Let's see. There we go. And this is a half teaspoon for my um, one pint. You might want to add more or less. It's totally up to you. But I, f I figured this does the this this is the right amount for us. Okay. It's not, it's not too good. So where's my spatula? That we're just about done. Oh. Okay, so what do we have here? Hi there, mommy. Hi there. No. Um, hi. So this is our butter. And it looks just like real butter. Well, I put natural salt in there, so you can still see the natural salt in there. And there's still a little bit of liquid that I need to drain out. But for the most part, that's the real thing. So you have a couple options at this point. You can um, put it in a candy mold, like, you know, you used to make chocolates. And put it in the candy mold and then put it in the fridge. And it'll um, harden into little candy shapes. Or you can put it in a, just a regular butter container, um, depending on if you're going to cook with it or not. So that's my butter recipe. Easy breezy. Lemon greasy. Yummy. Easy breezy what? Easy breezy lemon squeezy. Yes. Easy breezy lemon squeezy. Yummy.
Do you like better? Um, no. No? That's okay. That's more for me. <laughs> Enjoy! Why, they can 